This video will briefly introduce the PICO framework, which is helpful for organizing a search related to a specific clinical question. PICO is an acronym. The P stands for problem or population. For example, you could look at adults as a population or asthma as a problem, or combine the two to look specifically at asthma in adults as a population. I stands for intervention. This can be a specific drug, therapy, or program addressing the problem. C stands for comparison. This can be an alternative intervention, such as a different drug or therapy. It can be a placebo, it can be usual care, or it can also be no intervention at all. O stands for outcome. This is what measures you are using to assess whether a particular intervention is good. It can be a positive outcome, such as reduced symptom burden, or you can also look at uh, adverse effects as an outcome. So let's look at a specific example. In adults with heart disease, does daily aspirin reduce mortality compared to not taking aspirin? In this case, our problem in population is adults with heart disease. Our intervention is daily aspirin. The comparator is not taking aspirin. And the specific outcome of interest in this case is reduced mortality. You may sometimes see other frameworks that are used to frame different types of questions. For example, you can add T for time or S for study design to a PICO question. You can consider SPIDER for qualitative questions, SPICE for project evaluation, or ECLIPSE for policy evaluation. If you'd like to learn more, check out the search guide on our website, www.debrachevirtuallibrary.ca, or get in touch with us to ask questions or request a search.